we now have a unfinished t-shirt but it is looking very much like a t-shirt already the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to finish the neckline with um, with some knit binding for this we're gonna cut a long strip how long well let's quickly measure the full length of the neck opening and then we'll add a little bit to that because we want it to be a bit longer and you'll see later why that is okay that's the front and now the back All right, so that's about 60, 66. So I'm going to be using 70 centimeters so that I have some extra. I personally prefer, prefer a, a more narrow neck binding. So I'm going to cut a four centimeter strip, 70 centimeters long. Um, if you want it a bit wider, you can go for five centimeters, which is like two inches or even six or more. Um, essentially, you will fold this double and then subtract the seam allowance and then that will be the width of your um, of your knit binding at the neck. So let's first measure 70 centimeters. Actually, while the grain line is not super important here, I am going to cut this straight because this fabric doesn't seem to have a straight side to it. Let's see, 70 centimeters is here. And then as I said, I want it to be four centimeters wide. So I'm going to mark that on this wrong side of the fabric. And then I will cut out the strip that will become our neck binding. Get our strip. This will become our neck binding. So essentially, this will get folded double, and then we'll put this on the neck opening. Let me quickly show you. So we'll place it down like this, and then these sort of two raw edges will get surged together. I'll. You'll see in a minute. 